All right, guys, Jello here, coming at you with a Black Ops 1 gameplay commentary. Playing on the Xbox One, believe it or not. Today, Black Ops 1 was finally made backwards compatible for the Xbox One. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Black Ops 1, Xbox One. It's almost like it's a goddamn conspiracy. But we're playing a uh, sharpshooter. Uh, my favorite game mode on Black Ops 1. Easily. Easily one of my favorite game modes. No, the, the best game mode on Black Ops 1. Just constantly having new weapons. You're given thrown new weapons every so often. I can't remember the time intervals, but you got to quickly adapt to your situations in a free for all environment. You could have some really badass gun one moment, and then bam, you get stuck with this thing, the M14 uh, infrared. God damn, I tried getting kills with this thing, and it was tough. It was quite the struggle. But yeah, Black Ops One is finally backwards compatible. They told us back in September, I believe, that hey. Look out for January, February, Black Ops 1, backwards compatibility, coming at ya. It's fucking May, Activision. It's May. We're just now getting this, you bastards. Took them long enough. I don't even want to imagine how long it's going to take to get even the other ones. I'd imagine we'd be getting Modern Warfare 2 next. I don't see them going too early on because there's no point in having COD 4 be backwards compatible when we're just going to get the remastered version in November. And I doubt they'd make World at War backwards compatible, because that game is borderline unplayable. And I'm pretty sure they'll remaster that before we get a backwards compatibility. But, I'd definitely say Modern Warfare 2 is probably coming up next, and then we'll get Modern Warfare 3, and then the all-time favorite, Black Ops 2. So, yeah, played some Sharpshooter. It's finally nice to be able to play Sharpshooter, because now, with this being backwards compatible... 80,000 people are playing this game. 80,000 people! It hasn't seen that much player base since, I think, maybe the second year, the, the year after this game came out, during Modern Warfare 3's life cycle. Maybe it had a pretty decent uh, player base, but it's nice to see everyone playing this throwback. And I can finally get in the lobbies of Sharpshooter, because before, man, I'd be sitting in lobbies for like five minutes trying to find a lobby, and then they're like, all right, we're entrusting you to make a lobby. And then I sit there for another 10 minutes, and fucking Xbox Elite Gamer 720 joins, and that's about it. And then I end up rage quitting the game because I'm pissed off. But, playing a lot of Sharpshooter, I can actually play all the wager matches now, because there's a decent enough player base to play them. But I was playing some Domination also. I suck. Trying to play normal uh, pubs, I suck. I really gotta get back into the groove of this. Uh, this game plays so differently. It's a much slower paced game unless you're playing on Nuketown or Firing Range because that's just a clusterfuck of grenades, but it's a lot of fun. Except for, you know, the usual complaints about this game, which was Ghost and fucking, what else, the FAMAS, Final Stand, all that nonsense. But, oh, right here, guys, I go off with this. I think it's the Kipperus with the Suppressor. I destroy people. You really got to work those spawn traps in uh, Nuketown, and I just go off. I get a... Pretty significant lead from being down, but definitely everyone should be playing this if you're on the Xbox One. Suck on that, fucking PlayStation users. You can't do this. You can't. Try playing Black Ops 1 on the PlayStation 3. I bet you barely 5,000 people are playing it. Suck it. But yeah, fun timing. This game's actually on sale right now on the Xbox Marketplace. I think it's 10 bucks. $10. 15 if you're in Canada. God knows what it is if you're in Europe. I don't know European currency. I don't fucking know that shit. Who, what American does? Unless it's your job. But I digress. So yeah, definitely pick this up. I had a bit of a struggle trying to download this thing into uh, onto my Xbox One. It got stuck at like 60% for a while and then when it hit 100, it wouldn't read. The disc was all dirty and stuff. If you get that error message that, yo, your disc is too dirty, you piece of garbage... Try just popping that thing out, giving it a good spit shine. Should definitely work. I did that. I've, uh, I've had to do that a few times, and it does work. So, yeah, definitely pick this up. It's a lot of fun playing it. Tons of people are playing it now. I'm pretty sure it might even hit a hundred thousand player base, but I'm sure it'll die off in a little in the next few days. But it's definitely nice to get a throwback. And I'm pretty sure there's still like hacked and modded lobbies on this game. I haven't found one yet. But I'm waiting for it. Nuketown Infinite Mortar Glitch. Oh, man, that shit is not fun at all. 
There's no sense in playing that. Just back out. Back out immediately. But yeah, that's going to end it for today's commentary. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I don't know how much left there is. I got, I got lost. Made some few cuts. But yeah, it was Jello. And I'll see you guys in another video. Later.